This is Romnia coulteri madaliha poppy, and it is a, um, a really nice native from Southern California, Baja California, and Mexico, and uh, is used uh, for, I'd say, native effect or dry California effects is how we see these throughout California. Um, this is a Northern California inland valley in Pleasanton, and you're looking at uh, some spring uh, flowering going on, and it's kind of the beginning of the flowering for this plant. Typically, they're blooming from spring until fall. Uh, biggest bloom seems to be spring and early summer. And uh, as you can see here, it is very well known for its large fried egg looking flowers. Uh, they can be as big as nine inches across. I would say the ones you're looking at here are about five to six inches across. Uh, very striking and even the buds are interesting as you can see here. They do look like a poppy um, type of bud. So interesting plant and design. Um, because it's large size, these are typically around six to even as high as eight feet tall, the plants are, and probably four to six feet wide is common, like the one you're looking at here. You're looking at two different plants, but these individual plants are that size. If you look in the foreground, though, of the flowering one, you'll see kind of a smaller offshoot, and that's one of the things that this plant does is it does sucker and uh, has rhizomes that run out and that's one of the ways it propagates itself. Um, this is a harder plant to propagate but if you buy it in containers already propagated then uh, that really shouldn't be an issue but uh, we have had issues in the past where some are lost because when they were planted they weren't handled easily properly or whatever. So they, they're they a little sensitive in terms of getting them established, but once they're established, they're very easy plant to grow, very drought tolerant. The deer do not eat these, so um, uh, it can be used in some pretty uh, tough situations. And um, uh, Caltrans in California actually uses these a bit, and you'll see these just doing their thing on the side of the freeway um, in some pretty random locations. So uh, great plant if you need to neglect it, but you want something kind of striking showing up during the late spring and summer and literally takes no care once it's established. Uh, the one thing I'd say though in terms of maintenance is the best thing to do with these is in the fall, cut them to the ground and that way you get all new growth. If you let them winter over, which you can do if you're in an area that has frost, uh, they're going to burn pretty badly. So I just think it's better once you see these looking uh, burned or looking tired, go ahead and cut those down. And then uh, when it warms up the following spring, it'll start pushing new shoots up um, like you see here. Uh, in design, I think these are really that kind of, I've already kind of mentioned it, uh, they stand alone. They're so striking and they're so big, um, they can be used in kind of off to the side situations where you don't want to have to care for these very much or you're using more of a dry uh, plant, de plant design look or native kind of California look. Um, so very striking, kind of a specimen plant, I would say, because of its size and the unique quality of the flowers. So I don't use these a lot because they are a bit invasive and um, you need some containment if you're going to play these with other plants. Uh, you could put a root barrier around those to contain them and also limit their water to uh, limit the spread of the rhizomes. So that is Romnia coulteri. Madalysia poppy. Uh, really interesting and unique plant. Uh, I think you certainly need to have the right spot for it. And by the way, these are hardy down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, it can be used in a lot of places and they take dry heat very well. And uh, yeah, check that one out. Very interesting plant to use in design. To follow are some companion plants you may want to look at to try with Romnia coulteri. Enjoy.